The Royal Air Force, RAF of the United Kingdom, has successfully tested a large military transporter aircraft that runs on recycled cooking oil. According to a news release issued by the United Kingdom government on Friday, the Royal Air Force successfully conducted a sustainable fuel flight using a military transporter aircraft of this size. This is a first for any aircraft type and the first of its kind in Britain. The RAF Voyager, the military version of the Airbus A330, flew over Oxfordshire while running on sustainable aviation fuel in all of its engines. This opens up a number of possibilities for the future of aviation for both military and civilian planes. Sustainable aviation fuel, which may be made from waste-based sustainable feedstocks like used cooking oil, has much lower lifetime carbon emissions than traditional jet fuel. RAF, DENS, and industry partners Airbus, Air Tanker, and Rolls-Royce collaborated on the operation, and AirBP supplied the gasoline for it. The successful flight test on Wednesday is expected to boost operational resilience, decrease carbon footprints, and reduce RAF's reliance on global supply networks. This feat followed the November achievement of a UK flight by a tiny aircraft powered by 15 liters of synthetic gasoline, which was led by the Royal Air Force and established a new world record. The 90-minute flight from RAF Bryce Norton mimicking an air-to-air -air refueling mission was seen by senior RAF and industry executives. The Royal Air Force, Rolls-Royce, and Airbus all contributed to the flight crew. By 2050, all greenhouse gas emissions in the United Kingdom must be at zero, as required by state legislation. The United Kingdom's goal for decarbonizing aviation with the industry is laid out in the Jet Zero strategy, with a focus on fast technological improvement that protects the benefits of air travel while making the most of the opportunities decarbonization can give. Since the beginning of the Russian-Ukrainian war, the transition away from fossil fuels has become a new emblem in Europe, with England at the forefront of the movement. That's it for today, and as always, make sure to like, subscribe, and check our website at www.techwiki.co. Thanks for watching.